What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrano One, your host here, and I've got a special video for you today. You know what? Playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey has been such an amazing experience for me. I love history. I love the Assassin's Creed series. But a lot of people say that it's the best looking Assassin's Creed game. And I have to disagree. While it is amazing to look at, the world is beautiful, the colors are lush, and everything looks amazing. To me, the best looking... Now, remember, I am specifically saying the best graphically enhanced looking game in the entire series is this one. You just had a nice chat with your brother. Hugo, fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. Oh, God, it's the job. Maybe I should leave it. I said. Sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. We're so close. It's so beautiful still to this day. He get it blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come on, Maria, and say that. Uh, no. Get back here! Now, for those of you that don't know, I am playing this Keeping up, shall I call a break? in 4K, over 60 frames a second, believe it or not, guys. Yes, over 60 frames a second in 4K. And for those of you, for those of you that are new, everyone knows that you have not been able to get this game to run in over 60 frames a second before, because it's, it wasn't the best optimized game let's we can all be honest with that okay but obviously they've done a lot of updates and I am now using an RTX 2080 Ti and the foliage everything around us to me is still the best that this series has ever been everything has a weight to it where in Assassin's Creed Origins you don't feel that your characters have weight right the world is built kind of small like smaller with this one feels like it's its own personal tiny world. Everything feels, yeah, there's still glitches here and there. Everything feels natural, like you feel like your character is weighted, his movements are weighted in the environment, and it just, I don't know. I, you know what? Some people are not going to agree with me, but I still feel that this is the best looking Assassin's Creed game. So we're going to show a little bit of gameplay in 4K at over 60 frames a second. And where in God's name have you been? Huh. Got you now, you little shit. Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? 
One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. And I still really enjoy the story of this. You know what? I, I, it's just... Everyone's got different tastes, and I really, really enjoyed the story in Assassin's Creed Unity. But wow, I come back after not playing this in so long. It's still so beautiful. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Wait! Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Make way, make way! And it's, it's weird playing this again because controls are different. They're not like what they are in Odyssey. So it's, it's a nice change. You know, we got so used to playing it a specific way and now we're playing it a completely different way. is a bird's eye view. <laughs> That's so great. Look at this. I'm still so impressed with this. It's the small things in life, right? Like how he can't make a jump like that, you know, whereas in today's game, it'd be very, very easy. It takes a little bit more challenge to do certain jumps where you can pretty much climb on anything you want in Assassin's Creed, the new RPG version of Assassin's Creed. Here, it's like you gotta make sure that there's something to keep your hands Good to go. Oh, look at this. And it's so smooth, guys. This is over 60. 75 frames a second. I've never played Assassin's Creed Unity in fidelity such as this.
All right, plus V for Eagle Vision. Tell that the crowds could do a little bit better. So what is, as of right now, your favorite Assassin's Creed game? There's so many good ones in my opinion that it's very, very tough for me to choose. But um, I've always been kind of centered around Revelations because that was the pinnacle of Ezio's story. And I'm more of a story game gamer as I am anything else. I'm thinking about maybe even doing a, a playthrough of this again. Oh, these two again must have tailed me from the estate. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! Now, now. We can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Let's say I remember how to do this. Oh, it still feels so good. Easy, big fella. So you can't dodge that one, it's too big of a hit. No but you can dodge him. To save you, now. you can Oh, Not your it feels day. really Is good still. To your health, gentlemen. You boy, so what are you doing there? I think the version Buddy. that I did a long time ago was the PlayStation 4 version, if I'm not mistaken.
And of course, you guys know all about the optional objectives. That was one of the parts that I love the most about... Um, Okay, so you don't even have to do E or space. I thought you had to do space in order to do that, but you just actually have to do, um, to jump further, though. Okay, so yeah, you still gotta really do it. And again, yes, there's still glitches all around. I mean, it, with these big games, and just look at the the city, though, how the detail is on, in this. It's still so stunning. Oh, I really want to play this game again. This is before they had difficulties, so everything was always one specific difficulty level. And where crowds could slow you down. And I'm actually not used to playing um, Assassin's Creed games with... Uh, mouse and keyboard. That's something that's uh, pretty new to me right now. Let's grab this viewpoint if we can. Remember there was co-op as well? I know, this game got so much hate, but I didn't have nearly as many of the glitches as everyone else had. And again, like I said, I wasn't playing the PC version, and the PS4 version I was playing, I didn't see a lot of the glitches. There were a few, I, I mean, I'll admit that, there were, there were a few. None of them that really stood out to me that said, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Now, Ubisoft, unfortunately, is just not known for great optimization. I wish that they would spend a little bit more time on their ports. And, you know, and realize that PC gamers out there, man, there are a lot of PC gamers out there that just want really, really good uh, ports of their game. So please work on them a little bit more. You know, that's what we want. All right. So we're going to keep going. We're going to play this whole little intro here. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video just because I want to show off um, a, little, a few aspects of the gameplay and whatnot. And to be a nice video for YouTube, so I think there's only a few more missions left in this open area before you actually even move over to uh, Paris. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well, I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here then. I mean, look at the detail inside here. Now, they dumbed that down a little bit when Syndicate, because they felt that all of the glitches and everything was a cause to just creating maybe too much, creating too much with not enough. So. At least I, that's how I think it was. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Les tragiques. Too depressing. Memoir de Monsieur d'Artagnan, Elise's favorite. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Oh, oh. Eh, 
there. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. The guy didn't even look as old as what he sounded like. But this is a really cool mission. I think there's a lot of stealth coming up here, so. That's why I'm so fascinated with the Assassin's Creed series, because it always gets you into another character to to love, to see their backstory, to get to know them. And I love... That's why one of Assassin's Creed series to me is something that can just keep on going because there's so many stories to tell. It's not about one person. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet, two guests. Next, please. Now, my question with this that I always remember is that no one should know who we are. No bad people should know who we are. But see how immediately he's on to us? And to me, that makes no sense. Because it's not like they know I don't have a letter or I don't have an invitation. So then we get into our finally the first Assassin's Creed game that allowed you to crouch. Not Took forever. Yeah, having a party. What's this party for anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the Della Girl. And I really like the intro to this game as well because it allowed you to uh, check out a different time period. Is it shift change yet? <laughs> Look at that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. You up there! Stop! Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. You! Come here! I'll see you in the garden later, yes? Of course. The little subtle hints that the game gave you that you had no clue about. Quite the turnout this evening. I can't remember the last time we were all together. M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentilhomme? Merci. Un autre jour. Be 
be made a mock of by the likes of him. I love that subtleness too. It's so great. She always did love the chase. to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? Oh, don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who did that? Who paid? Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out. It's complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. Go. I love this. I love this type of stealth right here. even going to come out here. Ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. I guess he's not looking. It was a little hard for me to tell there. But if you actually pay attention to the map at the bottom, then that's how you can figure it out. Here we go. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sivir, come away. Guards, help. Murder. And there you go, ladies and gents. And of course, the next mission takes us to Paris. Such an amazing... Oh, I, oh man, I love it so much. What would you guys think if I eventually did this over again and did another walkthrough for... But did it in 4K, 60 frames. It's so beautiful. I love it. And we completed the challenge as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as we took a look uh, back through memory lane at Assassin's Creed Unity, which came out in 2014 from Ubisoft. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. And of course, take care of yourselves. And I will see you next time. Peace out.